Listen, this is a long story short, right? Oh, wait. Wait, did we get... Let me see if the knife price has changed. Still 25k, huh? Everything, so nothing's new. I'm going to be honest, right? I'm going to be honest. Okay, I'm going to just say how I feel because I'm always just like straight up. In character, our character, whatever. In character, everything is whatever happened, happened. End of the day, what happened was, Hutch thought that Alan was going to buy a $1.8 million car. Right? And Alan being Alan probably was just like, yeah, yeah, I'll see, bro. I can get the money and get the money. But this guy lost like $1.8 million at the casino. So he's in debt. He has no money. He has to he has to take a loan out for a loan. You know what I'm saying? So he has to borrow like 800k to get a 1.8 million dollar loan out already. So he's already fucked. Right? So he owes like 2. Point something million in loans. I guess he realized that he can't afford it and Hodge initially told him there was an Evo for sale. So when I was around, he called me up and he was like Yo, do you have an Evo 6? I said, nah, I've got an Evo 9. You want to test it out? He tested it out. He loved it. So I called up Jalen. I was like, yo, Jalen, Alan's really interested in the Evo. How much do you think you could sell it for? Jalen told me between 1.2 to 1.3. And Alan was like, I can afford that. It's so much easier. That's so much better. I was like, yeah, I mean, if you want it, I can talk to Jalen and get it done. Right? And then it turned into a massive thing. And then the whole... The whole family shit was just taken out of proportion. That was my bad. I, th I fumbled my words. What I meant to say was, like, are we really family if you're just going to remove me instantly over literally nothing? You know what I mean? Like, he doesn't want to hear the story out or anything. But I'm going to be honest. I don't, f like, in character is what it is. But our character, I don't fuck with our at all right now. And I'm just going to put it out there just so, like, it doesn't get, just so you guys know. Like, I'm not going to pretend to, like, you know, interact with him and shit. And the only reason why, the only reason why, is because he fucking, the first thing after the conversation, he said he, he was trying to insinuate that I was metagaming. Like, does that make any fucking sense? And the only reason he said that is because logically he couldn't come up with a valid reason to be mad at me right after he got all the facts from me and alan after his narrative couldn't be pushed any further he tells the stream oh they probably messaged on discord insinuating we met a game which we didn't we're just going off what happened in character right and then uh to his stream listen you leave the meta allegations to cops right i will call out a cop like you leave that you know you call out cops you don't call out your own boy well supposed to be your own boy Considering how, like, serious metagaming is. You know what I'm saying? And that shit don't fuck with me, so. It doesn't say right. Considering, like, the repercussions of that. I don't know. It's weird. Like, I don't know. This shit's just fucked. But we move on. Here's what it is. I don't really give a fuck. But I give a fuck enough to the point where it's like, whatever. But I'm good, man. I'm not going to go fight with him in wars. I ain't going to do any of that shit. If he kept it all in character, it was fine for me. I don't like, fuck it, you know, whatever happens, happens. But if you're going to accuse someone of pretty much metagaming, that takes it to a different level. So it's like, what the fuck? I don't even, like, uh, come on. Get the fuck out of here, bro. True colors come out after a while, and I guess, I don't know. I didn't think it was that deep. I didn't think it was that serious. I thought it would be all sorted out. But what can you do, man?